Hello students, welcome to my channel, Easy Physics by Visualization. This video series, mainly focus on, classes related to nuclear physics. This is the second part of this series. Today we are going to discuss about, Bohr and Wheeler's theory of nuclear fission. Bohr and Wheeler, successfully explain the phenomenon of nuclear fission, on liquid drop model. A liquid drop, have a spherical form, due to internal molecular force, responsible to surface tension. According to this theory, an excited liquid drop, may oscillate in number of ways. On applying large external force, the shape may change into, an ellipsoidal. If the external force is sufficiently large, the ellipsoid may change into, dumbbell shape, and break into two portion. This analogy may be extended to, a nucleus which behaves like liquid drop. When the nucleus absorbs a neutron, it forms a compound nucleus, which is highly energetic. The extra energy possessed by it, comes mostly from, the binding energy of the neutron absorbed by it. The extra energy may be, set up a series of rapid oscillations, in the spherical compound nucleus. As a result of this oscillations, the shape of the nucleus may change from spherical to ellipsoidal. If the extra energy is large, oscillations may be so violent, critical stage may be approached. The nucleus is now dumbbell shaped. Each bell of the dumbbell, has now a positive charge, and repel each other. This results in fission. The nuclei that result from, fission are called fission fragments. Usually fission fragments are of, unequal size. Thanks for watching please like and subscribe to my channel for further updating.